All right, so let's skip ahead to the play. Uh, Matt, you talked about it. Uh, Brady, you said too much time on the clock. They convert to Dwayne Jarrett, fourth and eight. Uh, and then all of a sudden, chaos breaks out. It looks like the clock runs out after the scramble. Matt has, has a ball go out of bounds. Everybody's losing their minds. And then Pete Carroll's doing the classic, we're going to spike it. You're saying we're going to spike it. Matt. Take us through the take us well, through the push push, my man. First of all, I'm just I'm so I I, I wa I've watched that play the play where I fumble out of bounds a million times, and I'm thinking like, like dude, that should have been the easiest touchdown. All I had to do was jump a little higher and just extend the ball, and I was in. Like literally, it's the grass, man. That's the grass. <laughs> it was the, <laughs> you couldn't get your. Footing. I was like stuck in I was stuck in quicksand. I was like, no, I'm, I literally look at that play. I'm like, dude, like I think I'm a pretty good athlete. I looked like a horrible athlete on that play. It was so disappointing. But uh, anyway, so, you know, I mean, obviously we know the play, but we're, we're the whole, the chaos, they stormed the field. I had no idea what was going on. I'm thinking like, dude, I just lost the game for us. Um, but I do see, you know, I saw the, you know, the ref kind of going like this to, you know, out of bounds, whatever. So I'm like, all right, I think we're going to get another play. So our whole thing, and I'm sure Brady has heard me tell this, our whole thing was, First of all, our quarterbacks, our, our spike was always built in with the quarterback sneak. So whether I was spiking or not, they were going to block wedge blocking for me no matter what. Okay. Um, so that was always one thing. So even if I would have spiked that ball, they were going off like like I was QB sneaking. Um, and our sign really was just like I would point to it was just like with me and Pete. It was like, hey, do you want to do this? You know, in, in, in the games, we did that a million times. We actually did that in Texas in the Rose Bowl and, and I got stopped on it. Um, um, and he kind of goes like this, like, all right, he knows that means I'm going to do it on my own. Like, I'm going to do, I'm going to go. So that's why he started spiking the ball just to like, I don't know, you know, maybe get their defense to think they're looking at P like, all right, Matt's going to, you know, just, you know, sure. yeah. antics Smart. on the sideline, whatever. And then I'm thinking, by the way, it's a horrible decision, obviously. And, I'm, and I, and I have Zibikowski in my mind because I'm literally up there and, and Zibikowski is like just waiting. He just knows, like he's waiting for me. <laughs> and I'm like, there's nine dudes inside the A gaps. Um, I probably shouldn't do this. And then when everyone's kind of standing, Reggie kind of comes up to me, and uh, and I go and I ask him. I was like, dude, I was like, I think I'm gonna go for it. And he's and literally he said like, all right, I got you. That's all he said. And I had no <laughs> idea what that meant. I, I I had no idea what that meant at the time because I'm like thinking like. I, I don't know, man. I don't really know what I was thinking. And sure enough, obviously, um, I did that. And I don't remember, to be honest with you, I don't remember him ever pushing me until I saw the the replay of the play. Like, I oh, didn't feel it. <laughs> well, no, because I was pirouette and, like, there's bodies <laughs> everywhere. And I just literally fell in the end zone. Like, I had no freaking idea. So, yeah. um, you know, worked. man, like, like, it was a crazy play and it could have easily, easily uh, not have happened. And, you know, I would have probably uh, been hearing that for the rest of my career. Just how Brady I, did for I, the rest of his life. I still am, Mike, I always go back to the fumble out of bounds. Like, the clock should have ran out. Like, the person who needs to get the most blame from the Notre Dame side is the clock operator. It's like, game's over, bud. But <laughs> that's, that was one of the problems you have when you have, uh, you know, you're an independent team is you don't have your own officials. So I believe it was Pac-12 officials who were in there. Uh, oh, yeah. So when so when Matt this. looked at the official, he should have looked familiar too. To him <laughs> there. He gave him a little wink. I want to pull this uh, tweet up. I I, I, I love this. It was perfect timing for this show. It's from you, Brady. Last night, Bush Push is kind of like marijuana. It was illegal <laughs> around upon then. Now it's legal to some capacity in most states and allowed in college football. A lot has changed in 15 years. Yeah, I saw that too. That was great. Your, your thoughts on what was going through Tim's mind on the sideline when all that went down? I mean, I was uh, I was watching it thinking, like, like, when everyone else ran out in the field, I could kind of see that the officials were congregating. And I'm like, man, I know Notre Dame's history. It, it never works out well with officiating. And I was like, something's going to happen here towards the end of this. Uh, and then, honestly, I didn't even notice that Reggie even pushed Matt in. Um, it was hard to kind of see on the sidelines because everyone was down there watching. And I just remember, like, once they once he got in the end zone to score, um, it was just deflating. There's no other way of kind of describing it, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, and I've told Matt this. I mean, I would have hoped if I was in the same situation, Darius Walker would have, you know, pushed me in the end zone too. So, um, you know, you do whatever you can to go win games. And so I, I think – 
Honestly, like 15 years later, thinking about it, I think my only gripe to Matt and Reggie, especially now that's a legal play, <laughs> is they didn't win the national championship. Because if they uh, would have won the national championship, this would be even bigger of a game. But because right. they didn't, because they shit the bed versus Texas, now it's not even as big of a game. Listen, right? man. Listen, <laughs> we put up 40 against them. What are we supposed to do, dude? I mean, honestly, uh, looking back at that season, when you have your guys' game and then you have the national championship that, that Matt, who you played in, I mean, as a 12-year-old kid when that was happening, I mean, that was the greatest thing ever. Like, that, I mean, history, legendary games in college football, mm -hmm. two of them in one season. I mean, it was just unbelievable. And Matt, you got to be a part too. Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, yeah, think about it. Like, I mean, the USC Notre Dame game, that game by far in that rivalry will go down as, I mean, there was, there was some, there's been some greats over the years. I mean, that historical rivalry is, is one of the best in college football. But um, I think because of where we were at as a program at that time and, you know, competing for titles and all that, and just the way that game went down is one of the best USC moments usc football moments in history um and then you know to talk about the texas game and, and i still think like you know maybe the best the greatest college football game ever played as far as just the the hype and then the players you know vince young you're talking about texas was absolutely loaded we were loaded especially offensively i mean our whole offense was drafted pretty much um yep. so yeah it was uh and, and you know just as as much as brady constantly gets flack for that game because he's around us and all that i constantly get flack about losing to texas it never escapes me so uh, we have that in common like i can't like i like my wife's best friend two of them went to like or one of them went to ut and like sh like she talks shit to me like it's just like everybody i'm just like oh my gosh but um yeah two you know in usc history especially two of the greatest games you know one we won one we lost